Samsung's latest 200 megapixels isocell camera packs impressive specs. Samsung was the world's first company to announce a 200 megapixels smartphone camera sensor. Its isocell HP1 sensor was unveiled in September 2021 and eventually debuted on the Moto X30 Pro, the world's first smartphone to feature such a high-resolution camera. Rumors suggest Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S23 Ultra will pack a 200 megapixels camera as well, though it won't be the HP1 sensor. Instead, it would reportedly house a new shooter packing significant technological improvements that deliver superior low-light performance. Now, in just a few weeks before the Galaxy S23 launch event, Samsung has announced its third 200 megapixels isocell sensor. The Samsung Isocell AP2 is a new 200 megapixel camera sensor whose specs precisely match what's rumored to be in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. These include a size of 1 first 3 and 0.6 micrometer pixels. It's been announced just weeks before the Galaxy S23 Ultra is widely expected to be unveiled on February 9th. Samsung has been producing 200 megapixel sensors for years, but so far it's yet to include such a high resolution sensor on its own flagship smartphones. Last year's Galaxy S22 Ultra, for example, included a 108 megapixel sensor for its main camera, but its new sensor almost doubles the resolution. It's not all about big numbers. Moving to higher pixel count sensors has real image quality benefits. In this chapter of the megapixel race, it's all about pixel binning. Samsung already employs this with its 108 megapixel sensor, and taking a super high res photo isn't the point. Rather, combining individual pixels into 4x4 or 2x2 configurations is. Binning pixels like this increases their effective size, allowing them to gather more light and detail. So the Isocell HP2 can bin every 4 pixels to effectively make them 1.2 micrometer in size and produce 50 megapixel images, or bin 16 for even larger 2.4 micrometer pixels and 12.5 megapixel images. This 1.2 micrometer mode is used to record 8K video at 30 FPS, and the sensor also supports filming in 4K HDR at 60 FPS. Away from raw specs, a sensor uses a new technology Samsung is calling Dual Vertical Transfer Gate, which it says helps the sensor reduce overexposure and produce better colors in bright conditions. Meanwhile, in low light, it's equipped with Super QPE for faster autofocusing. Samsung says the new sensor has already entered mass production, just in time for the launch of its upcoming flagship smartphone. It's so good, in fact, that it will represent the biggest leap in a Samsung flagship camera in five years. Those are definitely strong words right there, and it obviously remains to be seen if the S23 Ultra can really deliver what's being rumored here. But if it does, it has the potential to be the most exciting Samsung flagship device in some time. So, what are your thoughts on this new 200 megapixel sensor from Samsung? Will it be able to beat the other competitions in the market? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.